Authorities identify suspects in the shooting death of a pawn shop owner. Good evening. I'm Marsha Baumhart. And I'm Mark Allen. That word coming down just about 45 minutes ago. Jordan Burgess live with first details of a still breaking story. Jordan? We just heard from the sheriff moments ago on the details of how deputies were able to round up all but one of the four suspects in that fatal pawn shop shooting. And this was quite a manhunt because they had to go all the way to Detroit to do it. And take a look. This is one of those suspects. We're told that he's Darren Taylor. Now, he was arrested in Detroit and is now charged with murder. We're told he turned himself into his parole officer. Now, a second suspect was shot during the robbery, died, and was dumped on a Detroit street. The female suspect is being interviewed at this hour, we're told, and the final suspect is known to deputies but isn't in custody. Now, deputies tell us the four came here from Detroit to rob that cash-and-go pawn shop, possibly because they'd heard it had a lot of cash on hand. But the clerk fought back, leading to a gun battle. We're told at least two of the suspects were armed, and Ilya Golub was hit five times and later died. Afterward, the suspects headed north in a green van, but witnesses got the license plate number, and deputies were able to track it to a Detroit neighborhood. And that's what we encourage the public to be good witnesses for us. And this is what we get. We get successful conclusion to homicides when the public participates and gives us the information. That's all we ask is public participation. Now, at this point, the sheriff tells us that deputies are still trying to investigate what ties those four may have had to the Dayton area. But it is known that that van was seen around town in the days preceding the robbery. And also, we found out that at least two of those suspects had served time for aggravated robbery. So this certainly wasn't something they were new at. But deputies hope that this will be their last hit. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News on your side.